Hello, beer tubers, and welcome to yet another beer review with me, Peter the Mind of Puppets, and Jakob the Lone Maltz. And today we're going to be looking at a beer central as in a beer trade with Ryan, aka Stumpy Joe Jr. This was an extra, so thanks a lot, Ryan. I think it was. I didn't think we talked about this one, but it's uh, going to be our second beer from the Deschutes Brewery, and this is the Deschutes Black Butte 23, which is the 23rd birthday release beer. This is says it's a porter brewed with coconuts. It's imperial porter, by the way. Brewed with coconuts, orange, and natural flavors added with 25% aged bourbon barrels. It's on 10.8% and this also has a best after date. But that's uh, the on the 15th of June. And uh, says here, Black View Chamber 3. So where, so where to next? What's 2011's rich imperial take on Black View Porter? Just for kicks, your dream. Just for kicks you dream, orange zest perhaps, from Spanish oranges, Seville to be exact, and ch uh, chocolate nibs, pembered nibs from the artisanal alchemists at Theo's, maybe some chilies. Did it say alchemists? Yeah. <laughs> and maybe some chilies, Pasilla Negra only please, so there's chilies in here. Hmm. That would be crazy, wouldn't it? Welcome to crazy, get it while you can. So it's got chili too, interesting. Usually you, in, in Mexico... Uh, they actually do dishes with chili and chocolate. Yeah, yeah that's, that's, this should be interesting. So we got it poured here, and that's a pitch black porter. Yeah. Uh, what would you call the color of the head? I'd say roasted. Yeah, beige, beige tan, yeah. kind of. Uh, yeah, it looks like a nice imperial porter, so let's check out the aroma. Oh yeah, the chocolate, the yeah. coconut, definitely. A lot of roasts as well. You can definitely smell it's only 25% uh, of it that's aged in bourbon because the bourbon yeah. is there but that's kind of more subtle and smoke, along with some oaky notes. Oh yeah, and some, it, it, it has a weird kind of saltiness as well. Yeah. You don't really smell the chilies but you do get a little bit of a tingling yeah, you get sensation, the, the sensation in the nostrils. Yeah. Roasted malts. It's it's on the sweeter side yeah, compared yeah. to the abyss, which was one the roasted side, and I like that. It's got some, it's got some vanilla notes to it too. What do you get? Some pepperish kind of notes. I think it's the chili pepperish kind of. Yeah, it might be some slight like, peppery spice. Some caramel toffee kind of uh, yeah. character actually. Some mm -hmm. little bit of a licorice kind of maybe molasses. Yeah, star anise almost. Mm. Nah, not star anise, but... It's got some sugary kind of feel to it too, it's quite complex. Yeah. It's well nice. So we'll give it a taste? Let's do that. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks to Ryan for the beer. Oh yeah. I prefer this over the abyss. Yeah. Um, this is nice and sweet. It is. And it's still not intensely mm. sweet, it's more balanced. Yeah, it has that chilly kind of... Yeah, you almost yeah. don't taste it, but it, you you get that hot just, sensation. Yeah, it's just as for a split second, there's a little bit of a hot chili sensation, and then it's gone. gone. Alcohol, super well hidden. Just thought I heard a cat. Alcohol, super well hidden. You don't taste it at all. Body is medium to full. Yeah, I'd say. yeah. It's, it's not all the way in the fullest mouthfeel, but it's definitely on the more full side of medium, and it's got a nice creamy mouthfeel. What flavors do you get? Uh, there is that chili. It it just heats your th tongue and and wow, you it's feel dangerous. It in your yeah, it is. You can feel it in your gums and teeth as well. And there's some roasted coffee notes together with that um, sweet uh, toffee kind yeah, of yeah, and chocolatey. Chocolatey. Kind of it's, it yeah. tastes like a sweeter chocolate. Some uh, cocoa actually. As yeah. Well. Uh, I definitely also the the. Coffee, you say. The bourbon is so faint. Yeah. And it's funny, it's in the initial sip and then it lingers a little for the, your palate with the oaky flavor. But it's so, it's one of the smaller components on yeah. it. Yeah. Also, I actually get a little bit of a buttery note. Kind of like in when the beer's got diacetyl in it. Um, yeah. It's something that can happen during the fermentation process where you get a buttery flavor. And but usually I don't mind it. No, Depending no. on what beer style it is, of course, in a beer like this, it's fine. Fine. Yeah, I think also the, the acetyl will um, mm. mellow out with aging. Well, actually, the thing it's nice enough now that it's fairly fresh. Mm. I think it's only a couple of, or only, it's a couple of months old. I can't remember when it was released. But it's got some nice big flavors and I really yeah. like the sweetness. There is a faint hobby nose as well. Yeah. Um, I think the sweetness would fade though. Yeah. Which I'm glad it doesn't because I really 
prefer, prefer yeah. a sweeter, more kind, this <laughs> almost syrupy <laughs> to uh, yeah. Some of them are nice. It's it's kind of nice actually. You get a little lingering hot uh, sensation from the chili. And um, uh, you also get some dark fruity notes, and the dark fruity notes are kind of in the back end, and then you, you, it's the kind of oaky flavor that takes over with a little bit of the, the bourbon, but that doesn't linger for too long, then it just fades into this nice roasted character. Yeah. It doesn't really have the burnt and ashy notes as the Abyss. Um, yeah. As you yeah, exactly. And as you drink it, I'd say... It's it still though got a pretty fairly heavy roast profile, as a porter should have, yeah. uh, but it's just balanced out with a nice a lot, a lot, uh, lot of sweetness. Yeah, I think the longer you drink it, the more of the hot... Spicy notes you uh, yeah, actually okay. detect. So, um, yeah, and the heat in there is probably from the capacin. Capsaicin. Capsaicin or whatever it was called. The active ingredient. Called, then, yeah, yeah. The, in the chili that gives the heat. But uh, we also found out that the Pasita Negra is a dry form of chili. Um, which, uh, dried, yeah, dried and sometimes smoked too. Uh, it might be that. Well, that might be why you had that smoked, meaty sensation. Yeah, in the aroma. Uh, but. It is a quite nice imperial porter. It is. I and the chocolate note really grows on you also in the yeah. first sip. Where did you get that? Uh, Graving wise, uh, I'll have to say 95. It is awesome. At, uh, maybe 96. It's a little better than the Abyss and worth checking out, even as it is. Uh, best before, even now. Yeah, even now it's really good. And if you prefer the sweeter kind, I guess, uh, kind of beer, I think you'll like it now. Because I guess with the age, the, some of the sweetness will mellow. Yeah. Then you might, might get more of the chili flavor. Yeah, maybe. Unless that fades too. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. The capsaicin is. Yeah. Capsaicin. But I'm right there with you. This is a really, really nice beer. Um, I also prefer this over the Abyss, actually. Um, this is a really nice porter. It will be good with age, but I also think it's real good now, fresh and uh, rain wise to me. I was thinking exactly 95 <laughs> as well. <laughs> so um, it's a it's a really nice uh, Imperial Porter. Mm. Definitely worth picking up. One of the best Imperial Porters I've had for yeah. sure. So uh, yeah, guys, that does it for this beer review of the Deschutes Black Beauty 23. And uh, yeah, guys, let us know what you think of it if, uh, if you've had it. Then 96 from Jakob and 95 from me. And yeah. Remember to, yeah, comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter. And uh, yeah, we're going to say cheers. Cheers. And we're going to see you guys in another beer review. And thanks to Ryan for the beer. Thank you, Ryan.